Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday, primarily on Tumblrs, but it is the Christmas season, so I am doing other projects like Elf on the Shelf. And so this is another Elf on the Shelf. This one is a little bit more advanced. That's why I'm doing a full video on it. Last year I did full videos every single night because I did pretty complicated uh, things that needed explanation other than just kind of like a picture. So if you were not following me last year, go ahead and jump back on my channel and you can see all those other Elf on the Shelves that I did. All right, so for this one, I built a weight bench for the elves. And if you're interested to see what I came up with and how I did this, stick around and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I found these barbell weights on the internet I copied them and downloaded them and put them in here. This is for personal use only. So I would not sell something like this because it's not a paid for SVG or my original design. All right, so I sized them at 1.7. Originally I did 1.5 and they were too small and then I did the 1.7 so they were too big. So I would go with the 1.6 in this. So do a print and cut on printable vinyl and then we'll move on to the next step. So I am using one and a half inch acrylic discs that I purchased from Amazon. These were perfect for uh, making weights out of. I did the print and cut and I put, applied them on there. They were a little bit big because I used the 1.7 so I did have to trim them down. And then I found sanding them worked really well to get them nice and smooth. So now I'm just taking a silver marker. You can use whatever, a Sharpie or a, gold, or a silver leafing pen or whatever you have on hand to make the edges silver. So now I'm gonna use dowels. I can't tell you what size dowel this is, honestly. I picked up that multi-pack of dowel sizes from Walmart. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drill out the center. I measured the dowel with a drill bit. I don't know, again, what sizes they are. Uh, I wound up getting it right on the first time. So you're just gonna put some pressure, make sure you put some wood underneath to protect your surface when you're drilling and go ahead and measure make sure that it is right before you go on with the second one which it was a perfect fit and then we're going to go ahead and drill out the center of this one once you're dr done drilling through that make sure you clean out any debris in the center but the dowel is going to push some of it out too so don't go too crazy like i do take a craft knife and just kind of run it around the center to get the excess paper off all right, so let's do the clipping of the dowel. I measured at seven inches and I just clipped it off with these like wire clippers and then sand the end to make sure it's not really sharp. And then I'm gonna go in and paint the dowel the same silver that I used around the edge of the barbell. Once all of that is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and fit that to and put it together, but I found that the one side was a little bit, it was a little bit tight, so I had to hone it out a little bit. So to do that, do your little setup again with the wood and then take the drill bit and just go in circles on both sides and that will hone it out, but just do it like a little bit at a time because then you don't want it to be too big. And that little bit was perfect. And look how super cute that is. All right, so now we're gonna work, we're gonna move on to making the bench. So I'm using tumbling tower blocks by the Dollar Tree. They are, they should be available now. They're pretty stocked up. If not, you can order them online as well. And I'm gonna just hot glue these together. So I'm gonna make the base part. That's the, I guess, like the balance part or whatever. I don't know. And then I'm gonna use six more blocks. I'm gonna glue these all together one by one to stack them up. And I'm gonna do this two times. So I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna make a whole other set, which I'm not gonna show you on camera because when I show you one, I don't need to show you both. So when I got both sets done, then I'm gonna go ahead and glue the six pieces to that base and I'm just gonna set it on there for a second. I'm just gonna eyeball lining it up. It doesn't need to be perfect, guys. This is just a prop. This is actually kind of a cute project for Barbies too. Like, so if your kids are really into like, you know, Barbies and they have a Ken doll or even, you know, even the females are working out now. This is where I got me, you know, I work out. So this is kind of like my inspiration from myself. So I go ahead and I'm gonna use these oversized popsicle sticks or stir sticks. I don't know, whatever you wanna call them, tongue depressors. 
and I'm going to measure out like I use the elf to measure and it's pretty much the whole length of the popsicle stick actually it should have been a little bit longer but we'll make it work I'll, I'll show you how because it's like a tad bit short and his head's like going to hang off a little bit but we're going to do a weight bench cover later and that's going to take care of that issue all right so now I'm measuring all looks good and I'm going to next come in with a square, a square dowel. And it is a 12-inch square dowel. So I'm going to cut this directly in half. And then I'm going to glue this on each side. And so this is the, this is going to be the rack or the barbell holder. So I'm going to just glue them to each side. And making sure they're nice and even. And make sure you've got enough glue on there to hold it because it is going to be holding the barbell, which actually has a tad bit of weight because those acrylic discs are a little bit on the thicker side. So they do have a little bit of weight to them. I mean, not a lot. Just, I'm just saying. They're not like, you know, paper, paper heavy. All right. So now I'm going to take these jump rings that I have on hand, you know, for jewelry making. And again, like I said, this is not stuff that you know you might have readily on hand so you know this is stuff that i will link everything down in the description box below where you can buy buy this you know if you're going to get into jewelry making these are really good and these are pretty thick and a little bit on the bigger side so they worked really well for being like the barbell holder on top of the um whatever that is <laughs> you see it's a visual and we're just gonna glue these on make sure they're glued on nice and tight and then after this is done this is pretty much it for this weight bench the this is done and ready to be painted and so you can do i did this silver i did a i did actually like a dark gray i think the color is slate uh spray paint but you can certainly paint this with acrylic paint if you don't have spray paint on hand I just thought it would be faster to do it that way. Or, you know, you can do any shade of silver. You can do black, whatever. I did the gray to mimic like it is a metal weight bench. So it's completely up to you guys. You know, it's optional. This is just me giving you ideas on what to do. And you can use other things, you know, to be the little holder. So, again, um, making sure that everything fits really well. So I had to kind of just pull these barbells out a little bit or the to get it to fit nicely all right so let's move on to the weight bench cover that is just a little foam piece that i had on hand and some red felt you can use whatever color felt you want you can use whatever foam you have on hand or if you just want to kind of like fold the foot the bleh, fold the felt up so that it makes like a weight bench pad it's completely up to you but this is what I did, and it worked out really well. So I'm just going to glue the one side down to the foam, and just be careful the hot glue does melt the foam or the styrofoam or whatever you want to call this stuff. So um, trim this to size. You don't want it to be too, too big. And then with the second with the second flap, I can just glue it to the felt so I'm not melting this foam even more not that it really makes a difference because it's an elf laying on it and not you all right so we get that all done and then i'm going to go ahead and glue both sides and this is ready to be glued on now so this bench is while it's while i spray paint it while it's drying i'm going to go ahead and make the yoga mat and now this is another piece of felt it is black felt I just printed up yoga because it's felt you're going to have to you can't transfer the vinyl using transfer tape so you just got to peel it off and stick it down one by one but it's not that bad because it's only you know four letters and I do it on both sides you can do it on one again you know so much of this stuff is completely optional I'm just giving you the ideas and showing you what I did. All right, weight bench is completely dried, and now I am ready to glue this little pad down. And it's overhanging just a hair on the one end where I said it was a little too short. It's not perfect, but look, you know, it's it's a display. So uh, we put the little elf's hands in there, and we are good to go. So that is it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you all for watching. Look how cute this is, this little yoga mat and this weight bench. I'm like proud of myself. This came out so good with these supplies. Very inexpensive. Most of the stuff you can purchase at the Dollar Tree. So guys, 
please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment. I love to hear your feedback. And don't forget to check out my Facebook group and Instagram. It's a craft thing. And I will see you all next time. Bye.